How's it going, everybody? Dotoroi here, back with another Dragon Ball Fighters video for you all today. And this one is going to be exciting because for the first time in a little while now, we actually have an update on the state of Dragon Ball Fighters going into the later half of 2021. This information comes straight from the producer of the game, Hiroki. So, of course, this is about as straight from the source as you can get. Now, in this update, she does talk about the balance patch coming out later this year, but we'll get into that a little later because first, I want to cover the event portion of this. Like, what kind of events are going to be happening for fighters over the course of 2021 and the answer to that seems to be that they're still prioritizing online exclusive events due to the state of the world which is understandable with the way things are right now while i do feel like we're easing more towards normality we still are in that weird gray period so i can still totally see why they want to do this this of course also prompted her to bring up the netcode of the game and again state that it's too hard to work on adjusting right now so again if you had hoped that the game would get rollback implemented i would recommend holding off on that for a while longer at least Another big thing to bring up about these online tournaments, though, is that instead of being invitationals, it seems like they want to open it up to just about everybody. That, of course, has me thinking, like, is it going to be like the in-game tournament system? Kind of like where you have to fight to earn star chips. They've done online events like that in the past for this game, uh, never with any super high stakes or anything. In fact, we have videos on this channel of me participating in some of those events if you want to go check out how the in-game tournament system kind of looks. But I don't know how that would be handled for a real event with real stakes. So, yeah, on that front they're still ironing out the dates so we're just gonna have to wait a little longer to see what those online events materialize or look like once they finally actually happen but i do think it's exciting that anybody could participate that means i could actually make a video out of doing a real fighters tournament which i think it would be a lot of fun but now moving on from that we can finally talk about what is probably the most exciting thing and that is the next balance patch for dragon ball fighters coming out sometime in the middle of august i'm glad we got a i'm, I'm actually really happy they gave us some what of a date for this because i've been looking forward to this for a while now if you didn't already know they actually announced all of this stuff would be happening way back at the dragon ball game battle hour event so yes we have known this balance patch is coming but to a lot of people this is actually new news of course we could talk about all the things that we want to see changed in this balance patch frieza could get buffs goku black zamasu could get buffs this could massively change the state of the game and they have always done some crazy stuff with patches so i am very much looking forward to it like uh you know I always think back to things like the TN changes, Jiren changes. Just think about how crazy Jiren went in one patch. That's what this kind of thing can do to a game. And we can kind of tell it's going to be a bigger balance patch based on one of the tiny pieces Hiroki actually gave us. And that is the fact that we are now going to have access to guard cancel in the air. That is right. We are going to be guard canceling in the air. Dragon Ball Fighters 2021. I already struggle with it too much guard canceling now, but it's going to be even harder not to now. <laughs> I don't know. I'm looking forward to seeing how it works. It's just, oh man, it's just one of those things that really excites me. Let me know down below how you think air guard cancels are going to work out. Other than that, I also really want to hear your thoughts on what characters you want to see buffed slash nerfed. Maybe this is finally the time where Broly gets turned down. But other than that, uh, I just want to throw out a couple things in case Arxis is listening. Super Saiyan Goku's leg's been broken for a couple seasons now. Maybe we could revert that. Yamcha's Wolf Fang Fist. You know, you guys put a little delay on that. Maybe we could revert that as well. <laughs> and don't nerf Jiren. I am so afraid they're going to nerf Jiren's counter. Don't do it, dude. Please. Uh, other than that, I can't really think of anything. Zamasu would be cool. Goku Black. I mentioned both of those, but ah, just endless possibilities. I don't want to get into it too long because I could just talk for hours on this. And maybe we will in a separate video if you'd like to see that. Now, one last thing I will say is I wonder if they are going to do any more battle system adjustments other than just the air guard cancel. It wouldn't surprise me if they do, but that would also be very exciting to see. But with that, that is all of the information we have for Dragon Ball Fighters going into 2021. They didn't announce a new season pass or anything like that. In fact, I don't think they have anything like that planned, but maybe if the game keeps getting a lot of fan support from people like us, you know, we keep supporting events and things like that going out, letting them know we want to see more Dragon Ball Fighters. Maybe that could happen in the future, but events are always good. New balance patches are always great, and I'm glad to see this game that I love so much keep getting support. So let me know in the, down in the comments everything that I ask you about, of course, and just your overall thoughts, and make sure to the like button and subscribe to the channel if you're excited to stick around for even more dragon ball fighters to come you can also check out more videos on your screen right now i have been Dotsadoya, and i will see you in the next one i'm excited